Welcome to Night Rips and another opening of 2022 opening day blaster or like I say a 22 pack variation of the hobby box which is 36 packs but the same odds and a third of the price so can't complain when you can find this in the store if you can find this in the store nice it is a cheap rip and if you're interested there's the odds not guaranteed anything. Uh, one thing I have found, you will find a an insert per pack, typically. Have had some luck with autos. Oh, this is interesting. Not all of them are in the same... I guess it's just the way they're bent. But, uh, yeah, I typically find an insert in every pack, all 22 of them. As you can tell, there's a ton of packs here. Seven cards per pack. 22 packs for 154 cards. So I'll slide these out of the way and start ripping. Have had a little bit of luck with this. You know, I have pulled a auto, even though it's a sticker auto, of course, of Elvis Andrus. And I have pulled a, a, um, a mem card, or not mem card, a relic card, a Miggy Cabrera. So there's a retired Kyle Seeger. Chris Bryant, Iser Kinnear Falefa, who's now a Yankee. He had a little bit of a trip this post or this preseason. This is one of those insert sets. There are 15 of these at the opening day, this time the Seattle Mariners. The one thing I will say about this, future star Tris Tristan McKenzie and Sonny Gray, who's now a twin. Uh, one thing I'll say about this is odds of getting anything crazy are high. I mean, e even those autos, that, that relic card that I pulled, you know, those are one in 400 and some packs. I mean, it's, it's crazy how high they are. There are image variations. I don't know why that tops is black. It's actually kind of strange. I've not noticed that before. But it doesn't look like an image radiation. It's just strange that it's actually tops is printed black. I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to see if there's others that are like that. Josh Donaldson, who's now with the Yankees. And of course, here's another one of those inserts. This one, the Bomb Squad. And I haven't got this one yet. So, there's Clarice, McMarte, and rookie Alex Wells. Since I have already opened a few of these before, I'm trying not to, trying to, you know, be a little quicker so you don't, don't get bored. I'm still wondering about that one Soto, Zach Lowther rookie. We have TC Bear, the one the mascot sets, and one I haven't seen. There's Upton, Eloy, and Jordan. So some of those cards I haven't seen before. And just really, really curious why that one tops was card was had a black print on it. Can't remember if I'd seen that. Because every other one has had white that I remember. Possibly. It's Bomb Squad. Frank Thomas. It's a new one. It's possible it means nothing, but. That's the that's always the trick with a lot of these these products is sometimes things they'll, they'll just they'll catch your eye and say like, okay that's a little strange Manuel Rivera rookie Let's see every single one of these has been white that I've seen Zach Short rookie so another one of the inserts this one called Triple Play. The Trout Otani Rendon. And they are perforated, so if you wanted to break them up to have three little cards, you can. I won't, because that would just make them harder to, to store. Tariq Scooball, Future Star, Zach Pop, Rookie, Riley, Riley Adams, Rookie. But so far, hit-wise, or the short print-wise, I've, I've pulled, like I said, an uh, Elvis Andrews sticker, um, Auto, I have pulled a, oh, what was it? 
Oh, Mem of uh, Miggy Cabrera, opening day, Detroit Tigers. And I have pulled a Rizzo blue foil board. And what's nice about that one is it gives the wrong day for opening day. It gives the March 31st, which is supposed to have been the original opening day. But obviously we had a little bit of a thing called a lockout. That did push, push spring training a little bit late, which in essence pushed the regular season late. So it's going to be one of those things that there's Slider, one of the mascot. That's be the mascots for the Nats. No, Cleveland. Hmm. But yeah, when it, it, it slid the it slid the opening season, it did. You know, they they obviously were already, had already started printing the cards because they didn't know if the lockout was going to delay anything or what. It's going to be one of those things in history. That all the opening day dates for 2022 will be wrong which is cool i always love that kind of little flash to history stuart fairchild rookie retired man ryan zimmerman freddie got an albert Pujols bomb squad langoria josh bell and future star sixto sanchez should be able to come back well this year we'll see Oh, and of course, we pulled one of the ones that we want. We've pulled one of these in every one of the box. So obviously this one's not quite as rare as it has been in other products, but we got another base Wander Franco. There's Means, JT Remoto. We have the Pirate Parrot, another mascot. So far all the mascots I've pulled have not seen before. So definitely good to continue our I think it's somewhere like 25 or 30 mascots that's in this pack or in, in this uh, product this year. So I'm definitely well on our way of completing that set. And another bomb squad. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Making progress on that one too. Brandon Moss, rookie. You get real good at opening packs after you've, when you're opening 22 in a row. Alec Manoa, future star. It looks like we got ourselves a foil board here. Kyle Tucker, and we did. This is one of the opening day. This is like a 1 in 19. And I mentioned before, a little stand here. As I mentioned before, you can kind of see it there. It says March 31st, 2022, which was supposed to be the real opening day. Didn't happen, but it's still pretty cool. But yeah, this blue Corey Seager. Of course, now he's no longer with the Dodgers. He's now with the Rangers. And this is an unnumbered insert. There's actually very little parallels. There's really only two parallels in this set. There is this one, which is one in 19 packs. And then there is um, the one of one, which is one in God number number of packs. It's so the opening day insert for the Royals. Yeah, most of the stuff in here is so hard to get. Start cleaning up my stacks a little bit before they get overwhelming. Still looking at that Juan Soto with a black tops logo on it. I'm really curious why. It doesn't... Christian Pache, future star. I mean, it's like the only one I've seen. Joshua Gray, rookie. We have one of the triple plays. This is the Braves. We have Acuna, Albies, and Freeman. These are like one in, I think one in nine or something like that. There's Kiebert Ruiz, future star. Logan Gilbert, future star. And you Darvish. That's a nice thing. Since this is a set collector's product, there is some fun, and they're not hard sets to get. I mean, most of the insert sets are anywhere from 10 to 30 cards, so they're not very difficult to find. It's all the crazy stuff that's difficult to find. You know, the, the you know, some of the turf, or not turf, the, the dirt, 
Jared Kalanick, future star. There's the Yankees, opening day. Castro, rookie. Sandlin, rookie. And Corbin Burns. Yeah, the, the autos, the dual autos, the patch autos, the dirt, the dirt autos. Some of it's just crazy how high the odds are. Just look at the back and you just see, you know, what it says. Um, the, the odds, chances. It's just scary how high. Jake Berger, rookie. And we have a Rangers captain, another one of the mascots. There's Baez, now with t the Tigers. Speaking of the Tigers, that's the Badu and Josh Hader. Of course, this year, because of how overprinted the 2022 flagship is, it, those are almost as rare to find certain things. Gavin Sheets, rookie. Jacob deGrom. Liam Hendricks. And there's a bomb squad, Acuna Jr. Machado, Garcia, and future star Joe Adele. I am getting used to opening this pack, the lead packs. These are going a little faster. It is a relatively small set. It was around 220 cards. And then you have, you know, what's that? One, two, three, four, four different insert sets that are the big ones to get. There's Wally the Green Monster mascot for the Red Sox. Shimsky and Kyle Hendricks. So yeah, it doesn't take very many. You can, you can almost finish it with a hobby box or two. Of course, hobby boxes run you around 60-ish type dollars. Um, again, if you're going to go for a collection, if you can find it, highly recommend getting the blasters. Pat Mazika, rookie. You know, $20 for 154 cards or 22 packs. Yeah, you're down 14 packs. But two blasters is uh, more than, it's cost less and more cards than one hobby. Bomb Squad, Baez. Matt Manning, rookie. So yeah, save your money. But again, you have to be able to find it. I think I got lucky on a stock day. I had a bunch, huh? I bought five just because it's a nice round number. I guess it's not, it's odd, but... That's what I usually like to try to get. Hoy Park rookie. Cal Raleigh rookie. That's Mr. Mike Trout. And we have the opening day for the athletics. We yeah, pull enough. I'm like, I should be able to f at least finish the base set. Get some interesting cards. And I have. I think I've almost got every one of the mascots. Got most of the opening days. Um, got most of the triple plays. And we found some cool stuff. Curtis Terry, rookie. Definitely found a wander in each one. There's a triple play of the Yankees. Garrett Cole, Aaron Judge, and DJ LeMayhew. Springer, Nick Madrigal, future star, and Ivan Castillo, rookie. Three packs to go. Amazing how fast this one is going. Once you've opened a product a few times, you tend not to waste time on the on just the base. Zach Thomas or, or Thompson, sorry, rookie. American League Rookie of the Year, Randy Rosarena. Pool holes. Oh wow! And we pulled two of these blue base of these blue. This time we pulled the Future Stars, Nick Madrigal. Wow, I haven't had to bring out three of these for a while. But that's nice. A Nick Madrigal. Again, still the wrong date, but it's still a neat neat one. We haven't pulled two, we'll call them hits, in the same box. So this, that's pretty cool. Well, here's our mascot. It's our Blue Jays mascot mascot card, which is a cool one since he's got his mask on. Scherzer and... Trey Ambergy, rookie. Two packs to go. Let's see if we get lucky and pull anything else. So, first two boxes, I didn't pull any uh, 
blue foils. Did pull a auto and a relic. But this time we pulled two, we pulled one in the last box and then two in this one. Tatis Bomb Squad. Last pack. So if we're gonna pull anything else. I mean we're doing we're doing really well with this one. Two pretty cool players. Future stars Nick Madrigal and Corey Seeger. And of course pulling a wander. And we pulled a wander in every one of these boxes. Can't complain about that. And we got an advertisement in this one. Marcus Stroman. Of course, he's with the Cubs now. There's Sammy Long. There's our advertisement. It's funny, they put this advertisement in here. But as you can see, it's only in Series 1 and 2. So it's advertisement for another product. Oh, and here's my boy. The Bloop. Definitely follow him on Twitter. He's funny. Every day he posts stuff. But it's the mascot of the Atlanta Braves. Blooper. Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton, and Trent Grisham. So that's it. I'll try to make this rip a little bit quicker. It's hard to go quick when you have 156 cards. But, you know, you get a lot of base. I mean, that's just rookies and future stars. I am going to find out why this has a black tops on it, not a white one. That one, that's strange to me. I gotta see if, because I do have other Juan Soto's, I gotta see if they're the same way. We did pull, how many? One, two, three, five of the opening days, which is about right. You'll pull four to five in a blaster. From the Bomb Squad, eight, four, five, six, seven, which is about right there too. Mascots, we should pull about the same, three, four, five, six, seven, to include Blooper right there at the top. Quite a few I haven't seen before. Should pull three of these, the triple plays. We have pulled three per box so far. We did get our Wander, which we've pulled a Wander in every one of these blasters. Can't complain. But the nice thing is we did pull two of the blue foil boards. Again, there's only two parallels in these. There is the blue foil boards, and then there's the foil boards one of one. Haven't pulled any of those. Odds are just not in your favor. It's like one in 39,000 or something. It's, it's, it's huge. So that's it. That's yet another rip. I have one more box. Will definitely be the last um, opening day box I will open because I have pretty much completed the base set and quite a ways down the, the, the insert sets. It'd be actually easier just to go, you know, find the ones on eBay and just buy the one-offs instead of actually ripping a bunch of cards for them. But I hope you like this type of stuff. I have a lot of products that I'm gonna be opening, a lot of things that I'm planning, things like the National, things like some other collections that I'm gonna start showing off. So make sure you go ahead and do the, do the right thing. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notify so you know when I put stuff up. Doesn't cost you anything, does the channel good and helps show me that y'all are interested. Also, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Finally, if you've got any comments, drop it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I enjoy conversing Twitter, Instagram, and obviously in YouTube to, you know, conversing with a hobby since I have done this a long time. Took a break, like a lot of us had. Took a break, started back last year, and I'm enjoying this, this whole trip back. So, until I rip for you once again, We'll see you later. Bye now.